Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back after another spectacular week. I hit the lock of the week again. Had a big, big, big week. Um, so, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have not already joined the Patreon, make sure to do that. Uh, link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Uh, we hit the lock of the week. That is nine of, not a joke, nine of the last ten uh, locks we've hit. Uh, that. that it's over an eight month, uh, eight week span. So we hit the lock of the week pretty much every week. I've given you twice. I've given you two locks. So we are absolutely on fire, guys. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, get the lock of the week. Get asked to bookie anything. Get request a video. Get the updated props. Um, like the props on this fight that we're, we're fitting to do today is not out. Um, so when they are out, uh, head over to the P Patreon. I'll show you how to make money on the props as well. Um, we got a good one for you today. Nick Ball, Ronnie Rios, and what's going to be a fun fight, Queensberry Promotions card. I'm I'm into this fight. Fun fight, 126-pound world title. Nick Ball is nothing but a, a fight of the year waiting to happen, and, and this with Ronnie Rios is going to be absolutely spectacular. Uh, Nick Ball. Also, guys, go over to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, and subscribe to that as well. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, guys. I want to get into Nick Ball. Uh, let's start with Ball first. Good volume, good pace, short, come forward guy, fighter on the front foot, good combination puncher, mixes up his shots well, head, body, head, body, varies up his combinations, uh, relentless pressure fighter. Little bit of snap on the shots. Not a ton of pop, but pretty good snap. Extremely short, limited reach. When you see him, he's like 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, he's, he's, he's short, short. Uh, but he stays behind the high guard. Not a lot of lateral movement. I wish there was more movement in him. Good timing on his shots. He uses his double jab. He doesn't use his double jab enough, but his double jab that he, he, he has it and it works, he needs to use it more. He can get in when he uses his double jab. Uh, too often he keeps his jab in his pocket. Um, and he just tries to kind of bully his way in. He's got really good timing. He he is relentless. He stays on you. His head is on a line. He needs more head movement. Neither one of these guys is very difficult to hit. Nick Ball's got an exceptional gas tank. He finishes strong. He did it with, with Ball. He did it with Vargas. He does it over and over and over again. He's got an exceptional gas tank, good volume, heavy volume. It's not that he starts slow. It's just that he finishes strong. He does his best work in the second half of the fight, particularly later rounds. He wears you down. When you start to fade, he keeps getting the gas. Closes the distance well. Like I said, when he can close the distance with his double jab and he can stay on you. He finished this fight strong. So this is a guy that you want to get out ahead of. I I, I think this fight goes the distance. I, I think this is an interesting fight. Uh, I, I think Nick Ball, well, we'll get into Ronnie Rios. Strong, much long, straight jab. Longer fighter, taller fighter. Also, pressure fighter, aggressive. Works the body. Really, really good body puncher. His best strength, I would say, is his body punching. Good pop on his shots, but he is also straight in, straight out, straight in, straight out. He's got decent feet where he can control, where he can move his feet well and, and keep the distance. That's going to be key. Can he keep the distance? Can he keep ball at the end of his shots? He's also a good counter puncher. He does throw a little wide on the inside. And he's easy to, he's, he needs to shorten up on the inside. He throws wide. He's easy to hit. Um, he can beat him to the shots, and uh, with a guy that's highly skilled on the inside, like Ball, this is going to be difficult. It gets a little wild, easy to counter. He can work his body, get inside. Ball's not a terrific body puncher. I wish he went to the body more. He doesn't. Uh, Roddy Rios is the better body puncher by a mile in this fight, but he gets a little stationary, and he's easy to hit. Both these guys are easy to hit. Both these guys are come forward fire. Both these guys are pressure fires. Both these guys throw in pretty good volume. This is going to be a fun fight. I, I don't see anything really special with Ronnie Rios. Decent fundamentals. Like I said, it gets a little wide, a little sloppy. Decent power. You know, not nothing special. 
He's got a great chin. He's not great at cutting off the ring. I don't think that's going to really be vital in today's fight. But he's a complete front foot guy. Good body puncher. Decent power. He's a bit slow. He does have some trouble getting off at times, too. You see he'll shell up and he, and he really let his hands go. It's an issue for him. Sometimes, you know, he throws a decent volume, but if you put the pressure on him and, and you stay on him, he'll shell up. Uh, that's not good for a counter puncher. But I like this fight. This is a highly entertaining fight. This is going to be a good fight. I think Bull wins the fight. Let's take a look at the odds. Let's see what we got here. I like Bull by decision. Bull on the money line is minus 1,100. I think this is a little wide. Um, I, I think this would be like more like minus five or six hundred. I think this is about twice as high as it should be. This is a competitive fight. Ball's gonna win. Ball's gonna win on volume. Ball's gonna outwork him. But Rios is gonna slow him down. Rios is gonna have his moments. I, I like ball by decision. So we don't have decision. We don't have the over anything like that. We don't have any of those props. We just have ball on the money line. So we're gonna take ball on the money line. This is a good bet to put into your parlay because ball's gonna win. Ball will win this fight. Uh, we're going to put a $100 bet on that. It's going to make you $9.09. So that's not what we're looking to do. Although, you know, I think you could easily make this a one and a half times bet. Make $16.63 on a $160, $150 bet. But what we want to do is use this as part of our play, help bring down the odds. Uh, I wish the odds were a little better. I would wait on placing this bet. I, I do think this will get better because this is just too wide, in my opinion. I mean, Bull's going to win. Uh, I just don't love it. I don't love the odds here. Um, all right. But that's basically what we got. Ball, money line, minus 1,100. Going to make you 16.63 on a one and a half times bet. It's not terrific, but we can add this to our parlay. Get a little better odds on our parlay with this. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It is September 30th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.